Well, I'm delighted to be joined by James Bisgrove, Director of Commercial and Marketing at Rangers Football Club, and also Tom Behon, co-founder of Kistor. Gentlemen, good afternoon, first of all. Um, James, if I can start with you, just tell me what this new partnership will mean to Rangers Football Club. Yeah, good afternoon, Nick. Uh, thank you very much. And I think, first and foremost, um, a warm welcome to, to, to Tom, uh, one of the co-founders of, of Castor, alongside his brother, Phil. And, you know, we are absolutely delighted and incredibly excited to have Castor join the Rangers family and have them, uh, have them come on board. And, you know, it's not an understatement to say that this is an incredibly significant partnership for this football club. Um, you know, given the, the the challenges, I think it's fair to say that that we faced over the years in relation to to kits and to merchandise and retail. To be moving forward now with this new era and and, and a clean slate, uh, fresh beginning, if you like, it's incredibly incredibly exciting. Um, so it really means a lot. And I think look, from a commercial perspective, it's without a doubt the most valuable partnership that we've entered into in our in our recent history. Uh, and I think we believe that it actually has the potential to be the most valuable partnership in, in Scottish sports. So th th there's a lot there to, to look forward to, but clearly for us, it goes beyond the, the financial aspect as well. Uh, you know, we, we're partnering here with, a, with an organization that's incredibly ambitious, uh, one of the fastest growing sportswear brands in, in the world, very premium in everything they do in terms of the product. Uh, they've, they've got an international strategy that, you know, we feel aligns with ours and will allow us to, to kind of service the, the global range of support as well. So. Uh, no, it means a lot. It means a lot, Nick, and it's uh, a proud, uh, proud day for us to introduce this partnership. And Tom, obviously, welcome to you, and as James said, a welcome to the Rangers family. What was it that was so attractive for you guys to, about Rangers Football Club? Thanks very much, Nick. Um, I, I guess the, the first thing to say is that clearly Rangers is the most successful football club in the history of the sport, so... For, for me personally, as the co-founder uh, of Castor and for, and for the business, it's, it's both a huge honour and a privilege for, for us to have been chosen as the, the kit and retail partner of the, of the football club. Um, I mean, as well as, as that clearly phenomenal history of success, the, the fans were, were absolutely key to us when when we made our decision uh to, to partner with rangers not only the sheer size of the fan base um but also the i think the deeply passionate nature of the fan base uh and the loyalty that the fans have shown over over recent history and beyond um it's a term that gets used probably maybe too much uh but in my opinion it's fair to say that the rangers fans are, are unlike any other fans in in the world, um, so that for us was absolutely key. Uh, on top of that, Rangers Football Club is a, a globally recognised brand, and and truth be told, is one of the very few genuinely globally uh, recognised football clubs in the world. Um, as James touched upon there, my ambition for Castor is, is for us to become a, a truly global brand. When my brother and I founded our business four years ago, um, we very much had that, that attitude and that ambition to go and challenge the, the existing guys that dominate the sportswear market, mostly US and German brands. Uh, and to our mind, there is no reason whatsoever why a, a British brand can't go and challenge at the very highest level. Um, and in order to achieve that, we, we want to partner with clubs that have uh, that global recognition that Rangers clearly does, but probably even more importantly, uh, with clubs ha that have the, the capability to win trophies, both at domestic, but also European level. Um, and it's been absolutely clear to me throughout every conversation that we've had at every level of the football club over the recent months, that that is winning trophies is, is the most important thing to everybody involved in this football club. So uh, for me and for Castor to have the opportunity to, to contribute to Rangers achieving that goal is, is incredibly exciting. Um, as I said, it's a, it's, it's a great privilege. Um, we are very, very well aware that the expectations involved in this football club are incredibly high. Um, 
but we have very, very high expectations of ourselves as a business. Um, so we're, we're absolutely relishing the challenge and opportunity. James, maybe from a, a Rangers perspective, can you give us a, an insight as to how the Castor deal came about? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we don't have to cast our minds back too far because this was a, a conversation that, that we've had in quite a, uh, a, a short space of time. So I think we, we, we first started having a dialogue of this nature, probably February. Um, we, we had a bit of a, a dynamic process, which was what we, we labelled it, which, which ultimately meant that we tried to have as a football club as many meaningful conversations as, as, as we could. Uh, with, with, with a number of different brands across the sector. I think we were very encouraged and very kind of privileged that we had such a degree of interest. And, you know, Tom, Tom spoke perfectly there in terms of, you know, the, the scale of this football club, the, the, the support that we've got and probably the opportunity. Um, so we were in a very privileged position in terms of the level of interest that we had. Um, but if I, if I recall, I suppose the, the first meeting Tom and I had, and it was, I think, uh, Hilton Hotel by... Manchester Piccadilly Station and kind of had that first dialogue and hearing and hearing Tom and his brothers feel vision for the, for, the, for the business, the way that they wanted to come in and, and really kind of disrupt the market. Uh, I suppose the, the, the backing that they had as well in terms of their, their shareholders and, and, and that vision from a marketing, from a digital perspective, the quality of the products as well that, that, that we were able to, to receive. And believe me, we received a lot of different samples and had a lot of conversations, but you know, I recall vividly taking the train back up to, to Glasgow that, that, that evening and thinking this is, this is a great opportunity as well for the football club to, to form this partnership. So it's, you know, it's with a lot of satis satisfaction now that we can bring it to life and this is where the, uh, the real hard work begins. Yeah, and Tom, coming from Liverpool, you must know what the, the football club means to the, the city. Do you feel that will be similar in Glasgow with Rangers? Absolutely, I think that's a that's a very fair description, uh, in, indeed, Nick. I mean, we we are fully aware uh, of the importance of Rangers uh, to both the history and the heritage of, of Glasgow as a city, and and clearly also the future to Glasgow as well. So I, I think in that sense, um, passion would be an understatement, and and as you've said there being uh, from Liverpool, being born and bred on Merseyside and being a, a proudly Liverpool-based brand. Uh, this, this is something that we've had a fair bit of insight to ourselves. Um, and I guess for, for me, and, and James, James has touched upon it there, uh, my aspirations for this partnership are, are very, very simple. And that's, that's to make the fans proud in, in the first instance. Um, and then thereafter to contribute to the, the next chapter of success for this football club so James and I and, and, and other stakeholders within the Rangers business have had a, a number of conversations on this front uh, since that first meeting at, at Manchester Piccadilly Station um, in terms of how Castor is a new partner as a disruptive brand as a challenger brand in the in the sportswear market can really add value to the football club and um, first and foremost J James, James has touched upon it there it, it will be in the, the quality of the kit uh, that we deliver for the players. Um, Castle, above anything else, is a, is a product-centric brand. We compete in a, an incredibly competitive global sportswear market based on the quality of our products. Um, so for us, it's of paramount importance that the players are wearing the absolute highest quality kit uh, that there will be anywhere in the league, anywhere, anytime Rangers step onto the pitch. Uh, so we, as a brand, we take great pride in having higher quality fabrics uh, than our competitors uh, and higher quality, more advanced technology than any of our competitors. So for us, we want to be able to make a difference for the players when it matters most. Um, and then beyond that, we think there's a, a very big and very exciting opportunity to expand the, the, the product offering um, for the fans because James has alluded to it there again. Uh, maybe it hasn't been in, in, in recent years where, where we believe it could be and certainly where we believe we can take it in the future in terms of uh, more lifestyle-based products, more limited edition style products. So our view is we want to bring the, the Rangers product offering in line with other leading European clubs um, and in line with that, ensure that all of the, the kit designs are bespoke, ensure there's a 
bespoke collection for the for the women's uh, for the women's team, uh, the youth team in coming years, um, and then we think there's a big big opportunity to to really invest in the the Ibrox store. Uh, we've got plans that are already underway uh, to invest two hundred and fifty thousand uh, pounds in refurbishing that store uh, and, and really again bring it in line with with other European leading uh, leading European club stores uh, and really have a store that the fans are proud to call our own. So there's there's a number of areas that we're very excited to get our teeth stuck into right away. As James said, there it's been a dynamic process, uh, and, and for me and Castor, it's all about how can we add value to this football club and, and make a contribution to that next chapter of success. And, and Nick, perhaps if I could just pick up on one of those points, particularly around the kind of the bespoke product, because I think that's something that that's been particularly impressive for us in the way that we've worked with Tom and his team in, in, the, in, the, in the last six weeks or so to be able to have a product that's dis designed bespoke for us and the, the home kit, the away kit, the third kit, all of the training wear. Tom touched on it there in terms of limited edition and that'll be for next season. But then if you think ahead as well for the 150th year and the opportunities around uh, that season around limited edition, there's, there's, there's a really uh, a, a huge potential. And I think we're very proud and privileged that Castor have created a bespoke Tom touched on a bespoke product for our women's team, you know, having now the first professional women's team in, in Scotland and being able to give them a, a real women's fit product. And that would extend as well, of course, to retail. So for all the, all, all the female supporters, it, it's, it's about being bespoke and it's about having, I suppose, the quality all the way through and to have achieved what we've achieved in, I think, the last six weeks or so with all of those designs, I think it's uh, been, been, been really, really impressive. Uh, and I think for me, that's one of the areas that I'm incredibly excited to be able you know, in the weeks and the months ahead when we're unveiling those designs to, to put them in front of supporters, get their feedback. Um, we've seen a lot of supporters have used their imagination online and there's been uh, a lot of creativity out there and some of that's looked really good, but I can assure you what, uh, what, what the Castile team and their designers have produced is something that will be well worth the wait. For sure, James. And Tom has, I guess, outlined a number of the, the benefits already, but from a, a solely Rangers perspective, what are some of the, the benefits of this new deal? Yeah, no, so I think I think they're really wide wide ranging, Nick. And um, when you when you look at the kind of the, the, the crux of the deal, we've spoken a bit about the product the product there, but also the retail side. You know, for us to have the mega store at Ibrox invested in in that way, you know, a quarter of a million pounds to renovate that mega store, it will be best in class. You know, in terms of any club superstores uh, around around the UK, and to have that environment for the supporters to come in on on on, on a match day and on that non match days, I think something that uh, we're really excited about. But equally, we touched on it to a degree there, the, the online supply chain, the international network that Castor has. Um, you, you know, this is, this is something that's really important to us because the support base in, in, in Glasgow with the 50,000 season ticket holders and everyone in and around the, the city, they'll have the mega store and potentially other retail environments. But for the supporters that are in Canada and the US with, with NASA right the way through to Australia and and also for them to be able to go online, the Castor Rangers store and order the strip and order the training wear or some accessories. I think, you know, that's something that, that, that we're really, really excited about. What we've also, um, I suppose, uh, recognized very quickly is Castor are best in class when it comes to marketing, when it comes to activation, digital engagement. And this is exactly the, the types of conversations we want to be having when they're activating their rights because all of that supports our ambitions around fan engagement, the content that we want to be producing on our social platform. So I think there's a lot of like-minded thinking there. Uh, and the fact that it's a, a long-term partnership as well, you know, this is a, this is a multi-year agreement and it gives us a platform for next season, the season after, and, and hopefully many, many seasons beyond that to really build something together. Absolutely. I mean, James, I've just, uh, I think I, I completely agree with all of those points and, and just picking up on that international element, I think that is going to be so key going forward if, if we kind of take a step back for a second and look more broadly at the, the retail landscape. There are huge changes currently underway within the retail sector and they are in many ways shifting online and there, there will be winners and losers as, as those changes take place. And for Castor, to, we are a digitally native business. We, we've grown our business incredibly quickly over the last four years, um, not only because we, we have a very good product offering and, and we believe we've got a very good brand offering, but because we are a, a digitally native brand. Uh, and that means it, it's almost 
as simple for us to to engage with customers in South Korea as it is in South Glasgow. So the the as you've said there, James, with the the North American uh, fan fan bases, you guys have got a huge fan base. The football club has got a huge fan base in in Australia. So we really want to to leverage the expertise that Castor has in in digital marketing uh, to really engage those guys in a way that that maybe hasn't happened previously. On top of on top of that, I think the the point you made there, James, that that really resonated with me was around how we make the effort to to market this partnership in a new way, activate this partnership in a in an innovative way. Uh, Castor made the decision to to enter the football market twelve months ago, and we didn't make that decision to to do things in the same way that they've been done previously. We we want to be creative, we want to be innovative, we want to disrupt the state status quo um, and that for us there is no better partner to do that with than, than Rangers Football Club because you guys have that phenomenal fan base that is there already so I think bringing those two elements together has got the potential uh, for something incredibly exciting. I want to hear there your, Tom your recognition of the, the Rangers support but have you been maybe even taken aback a, a little bit by the excitement and the interest of those supporters since rumours of the partnership began to surface? Yeah, it's, uh, it, it, I mean, it's been a, an interesting experience. I think, uh, in all honesty, Nick, given the, the, the size of the football club and the, 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 the very well-known passion of the fan base, it's, uh, it, 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 may be, it may be prepared us ever so slightly, but not, not quite for, for what we've seen in the, in the last couple of weeks. And um, again, as I said earlier, the, how, how uh, intense the focus has been has, has really crystallised for us the level of expectation that, that is involved in the football club and the level of uh, scrutiny that will be on Castor as, as now a key partner to the football club going forward. Um, but we are, we're absolutely relishing the challenge we, and we can't wait to get started. Um, we're, as a business, this is not a decision that we've taken lightly. It was... It, at board level, we made the decision 12 months ago that we would enter the football market. Um, and when we made that decision, it was clear to everyone involved in, in Castor that we didn't want to, to work our way up. We, we only wanted to partner with, uh, in our first season, uh, a single marquee club. Um, Ranger, we could not be more excited and proud that the Rangers is that club. I think there's there's clearly many parallels between the the cities of Liverpool and Glasgow um, that make this feel very natural. Uh, so we're we're very excited indeed. Um, again, James touched, James touched upon it earlier. It was very important, I think, to to both Rangers and Castor uh, that when we were discussing this deal, and it was a, a fluid and dynamic process that we, we structured a deal where both Rangers and Castor's interests are 100% aligned. Um, so under this new partnership, Rangers will benefit directly from every single product that, that we sell and Castor will only be successful if Rangers is successful. So um, for me, that is exactly how these partnerships should work and, and hopefully that structure is going to lay the foundation for, for a very long-term and mutually successful partnership. James, can you maybe just give us a summary of the deal overall? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, you know, Castor will be the uh, official kit uh, retail uh, and merchandise partner for, for, for the club. As I said, it's it's a multi it's a multi year agreement. So, you know that 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 partnership really is 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 multifaceted in the sense that all of the the, the kit, the training wear, all the apparel for the first team, for the academy, for the women's team will be manufactured and supplied by Castor. But then, of course, that, that, that translates itself through to all of the retail operations that, that Castor will manage on the club's behalf. So the physical retail that we've touched upon, the megastore and other opportunities there, but also the digital side of that. And what we're working very, very carefully on and, and, and uh, putting a lot of effort into the moment is the digital side and making sure that's fully integrated, uh, as I think we, we touched upon uh, not, not long ago, Nick, you know, we were working on a new website. We're very excited to get, to get that live. So it's actually perfect timing to have a, a very integrated digital offering. And we talk about the app and we talk about how we use data, et cetera. So, so having that aspect with, with, with Castor is, uh, is, is certainly an, an added element. You know, from, from the, the, the other perspective of the partnership, Castor will be, be recognized in terms of, you know, the, the main partner. So 
the, the branding is on, on the shirt, it'll be in and around Ibrox, it'll be on the LED boards and hopefully that visibility, particularly when you know the, the club are competing in the latter stages of European competitions and giving Castor that, that, that global presence will be something that's also valuable. They'll have the opportunity to bring clients and guests to, 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 to Ibrox to experience match day and, and, and we're kind of building a whole calendar and a whole plan of, I suppose, uh, sponsorship activation uh, activities that will that will underpin that so you know it, it's uh, it's not unlike uh, you know a, a partnership of, of a similar nature right at the right at the top of the sport but as, as, as Tom said what what we've been very deliberate in doing is making sure that the benefits to, to Rangers are directly parallel to the benefits of, of Castle so it's a true partnership in that sense in, in every way that we've that we've, we've we've managed to form it Speaking again about the supporters, Tom, the demand for Castor products from them is going to be incredible. Is that something you guys are looking forward to fulfilling? Absolutely, Nick, is the, is the short answer to that. I mean, um, in the 90s, Rangers Football Club sold more jerseys than, than any football club in the UK, um, which is, is absolutely phenomenal. And, and we are very, very well aware that, that the demand for this new partnership is, it has got the potential to be significant. Um, and that's something that we've been preparing for for, for a very long time. Um, because although our discussions with Rangers have, uh, have moved fairly quickly, our, our preparations as a business have been have been going, getting underway far in advance of that. So we have been building the infrastructure within our business in terms of the the factory capabilities, the fabric capabilities, that the expertise within our team to ensure that we can provide uh, Rangers with the, the the bespoke service that, uh, that a club of this stature uh, deserves and warrants. Uh, that work has been underway for a very long time. Equally, we are a, a business that's been, I guess, built in a in the modern era and, and in that digital era and in the, the digital world. Things move far, far more quickly uh, than, than they used to in the traditional world. So um, we do have a, a very rapid response supply chain uh, and we are able to respond to, to changes in demand very quickly. So, uh, so we're very confident on that front and we're very excited to get started. Castor is different from the big brands. We are a, we're a founder owned business, a founder led business and, and this partnership for Castor and, and for myself and my brother on a personal level is is a seminal moment in the in the history of our brand. It, we, Phil and I have, have built our business brick by brick every day over the last four years. We've got big ambitions to, to grow Castor into a global brand and, and this partnership is is absolutely key uh, in, in allowing us to achieve that. So on a personal level, I've got no intention of, of letting this partnership uh, be anything other than a fantastic success. And Nick, and Nick, maybe just to pick up and kind of echo some of that sentiment as well. I think as, as a football club, and I've been involved in you know, arrangements and partnerships of, the, of this on a number of occasions, you know, we, we, we are right now the centre of the Castor universe, if, if you like, and there's so much of a focus on this, on this partnership and making sure that the, the, the delivery, the activation, every part of it is absolutely spot on. And I think, you know, Tom and Phil will hopefully have gone into this with their eyes wide open in terms of what that level of demand is and what we anticipate it to be. Uh, and, and I think, you know, from the football club's perspective and, and from our board, we were very careful in the due diligence and having those conversations with, with, with Tom and Phil in terms of getting that reassurance around supply chain, the ability to meet that demand. I think it's an area where, Historically, we haven't always been where we'd like to be, but this again was something that was absolutely key for us in, in forming this partnership. So um, we we believe we believe we'll be in a in, in a very good place on that front. Yeah, just to just to add to that as well, I think James James touched upon it earlier. Um, as a business, Castor, we, we're very fortunate that we've got um, some very we've got a very strong investor group. Uh, the, those shareholders include one of the the, the wealthiest families in the UK, uh, and those guys have invested in our business because they believe in our ability um, to build Castor into a global brand, to, to, to become a British brand that challenges the, the big guys on that global stage. And they have very, very high expectations of us. 
successfully delivering partnerships such as this one is is absolutely part of the expectations that they have upon us and and as James said it's something that we've been incredibly diligent about it, it is very much the center of our universe as a company um, and we are very confident that we're well placed to, to deliver exactly what the club needs and guys just to finish just give us an idea of what happens now um, so, so certainly from from my side, Nick, as you can imagine, every uh, every person within the Castor business is is incredibly excited about the partnership. The, the hard work is well underway behind the scenes. Um, the, the design team uh, uh, are hard at work uh, creating the, the the new kit that, that we're very confident that the fans are going to be very excited to see. Um, and that that kit will be launched uh, initially exclusively to the MyJers members um, at some point in the coming weeks. So so certainly one to keep an eye open for. And in terms of pricing of of those new kits that will be launched shortly. Um, Castor made the decision as a company that when we entered the football market, we wouldn't be increasing uh, the prices of, of those replica jerseys, um, despite being a, a premium brand and very much focused on product quality. We're, we're well aware that that's a, a very emotive point to, to all football fans. And so we, we've made that decision that the prices uh, of those replica jerseys will be in line with, with other leading European football clubs. And I think just just to maybe as as we wrap up, Nick, I'd just probably like to say on on behalf of the club, again, thanks to to, to Tom and, and and his brother Phil for, uh, I suppose, moving into this this new partnership. I think what's been refreshing for us is that kind of willing and that 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 uh, want to also engage with the supporters and to, to have the human side of the brand. And, and I think it was 12, 12 years ago this week that, that the Rangers were in the UEFA Cup final down in down in Manchester and. 200,000 supporters went down there in, in their Rangers kits. So, you know, when we talk about aspiration and, and looking looking forward to what's ahead within this partnership, hopefully there'll be a moment in time like that as well that, uh, that the Castor and Rangers can celebrate together.